This is an interesting example of when the eye stent inject, and in this case the inject wide, doesn't go into place exactly where you want it to. Um, and so the first thing we're going to do here is I usually test the eye stent injector, so I move the little slider up and down a couple times just to make sure it's nice and smooth operating before I go actually in the eye. I like to make sure I fill up my eye with a generous amount of viscoelastic to deepen the anterior chamber. Um, here, sadly, I'm going to be a little out of focus for the first inject, but this one goes in nicely without any real complications. So there, we're sliding back that injector tip. I'm finding a nice pigmented section of trabecular meshwork. I'm going to slip that little needle tip point just gently against the trabecular meshwork. You don't have to push as hard with the inject wide as you do with the classical inject. And so here, I'm making my selection for the second inject wide. There's a nice pigmented area we're going to inject. I can see right there as I pull it out, it doesn't feel like it's quite injected the way it's supposed to. So I'm going to go back in with my viscoelastic cannula. That way if there's any bleeding when I'm messing around with the stent, I have the ability to actually move it around and clear my view. And so they're not bleeding, but you can see clearly that that inject is not completely in. And so the viscoelastic cannula tip is actually the perfect size to mess with these inject wides. It even works with a normal inject. And here, we're just going to try to push this thing right up towards that TM and just replace it entirely. Um, you can not take something like a micro MST, pull these out and reload them. And sometimes just using the tip of the actual eye stent inject injector to reload it and re-inject it works as well. But this is a nice way to do it, just using a viscoelastic cannula which allows you to clear that view if they are bleeding. Thanks for watching this video.